I didn't even put a shirt on, don't I? <laughs> Doing a lot of things shirtless lately. <sighs> None of the things that normal people do shirtless, unfortunately. No, <laughs> well, ask and get delivered. I asked what you guys knew about East Perth and boy did you not hold back. This part of town never ceases to shock and amaze me. It has been described to me in one of the comments as an amalgamation of the entire city. Which concerns me given that A, WA is already a state of amalgamation and B, their comment was immediately followed up by a story about the time they saw a pregnant woman shoot up heroin. Apparently the motocross kids of East Newman have at some point spread to East Perth as I have been told that kids do indeed ride dirt bikes on the footpaths of East Perth. But at least they don't block the road like those damn cyclists. Langley Park should be known for three things. One, every B-grade festival in Western Australia, which given the only two types of festivals I've been to was the local festival in Newman, Fortescue, and the Eskimo Joe concert in Kings Park, Perth, it's somewhere in between those two. Two, East Perthlings never seem to sit either from chronic hemorrhoids or simply because they can't stand sitting. So the public park benches had no inherent purpose when they were built in the parks and wildlife of this part of the city. Doesn't stop the naturally ingenious spirit of Australia to display itself on the local population, however. We are the nation that invented the Owen gun after all. The meth addicts in East Perth utilise these park benches to have sex constantly with no regard for who's watching. <laughs> Well, isn't this a wonderful public service? Three, family gatherings. And by family gathering, I mean a festival, where so many people are present that you wonder whether it was the government mandate. There is no family structure more diametrically opposed to the stereotypical white Australian family, which can be characterised simply... Dow, dinner's ready. Oh, f*** off, Mum. Accompanied with music and dancing, some have smoking ceremonies, let's call them, held under the Langley Park Maintenance Building. And four, that's right, I got four now, look at you, on Fancy Pants, oh, Targa West, which I haven't been to, but was told was good. I wrote this with the sound of an engine in my backyard, so I don't know why there'd be such an affection for an entire institution based on loud engines, but each to their own. Here's a story personally sent to me by a friend from East Perth. You know, coming home from East Vic Park the other day, I accidentally took the wrong bus. I ended up in what could only be described as the hospital exclusion zone, where my bus driver thankfully suggested that I get off one street further down as, as I was at risk of, quote, getting stabbed in Goldberg Street, where people who were basically middling around like packs of vortigaunts were sharing needles with each other. Why do we have a football club? I don't understand. Where are the Royals gonna train? F***ing Queen's Garden? Actually, speaking of Queen's Gardens, I got accused by a woman who was literally tripping balls there that I, and indeed every other person in the park at the time, was a government spy and that we were all stalking her. So who do you work for? CIA? ASILO? SCP Foundation? What are you talking about? Flash! Flash! Ah! Why are you using a flashlight in broad daylight? Ah. Ah. There are abandoned offices all over the place where for some mysterious reason nobody can get an office set up. A real commission could probably not find the reason behind this. But one theory explained to me was that yuppies don't like the idea of getting yelled at by drunken shamans. This is sacred! I gave all my dream of being a furry artist for this? Being a central part of this perfect city of Perth, bet you've never heard that joke before, East Perth inevitably has an extensive price for its apartments. One may be tempted by the 250k price tags, low strata rates, in other words I don't quite understand, but I am told that the neighbours would be a bit too fond of Cooper's Pale Ale, which I don't see the problem with as it is the best beer I've ever had. The other end of the spectrum has $1.9 million Elysiums, $4,000 per quarter strata fees, whatever those are, 
where your neighbour is most likely even more insane drug fan than the Coopers enjoyer, having r slash Wall Street bets cocaine. Living here gives you a sacred title that makes the price and confusion worthwhile, however. You can now tell your mate from Kelmscott that you're a cosmopolitan person. The same mate that has a Land Cruiser 200 series while you ride as a only scooter and a massive throbbing ego. East Perth has very filling stories. My stomach of stories is full to bursting. Still, I want more stories. Give me more stories! Particularly about other suburbs, because surely Armadale and Mandra can compete. Maybe they have no chance of winning, but they surely have something to show. Yeah.